Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video at Morrowood Homestead. Before we begin, please like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Well, we caught the biggest raccoon I've probably ever seen in my life last night. Same. It was ginormous, and it flipped the cage off the porch. Right, so it didn't actually flip the cage off the porch, okay? It woke me up last night because the cage was hitting against the house when that thing was in there and driving me crazy. So I came outside early, early this morning and I drug the cage off the porch and thought, man, that's a giant raccoon. Um, went back to bed, woke up, had to go to the bank before they closed and do a few things. Then I was going to come back and take care of the, the raccoon. Well, I get home and Hallie says, the coon's gone. I'm like, what are you talking about? The coon's gone. She said, it's not in the cage anymore. And well, it's not, it's, it's not in the cage anymore. So I'll show you. Here's how we found the cage. As you can see, it's flipped upside down, right? So. How did he get out? I don't know exactly, but he, he got out. Coons are marvelous creatures. They're pretty smart. Um, probably won't be able to catch this sucker again, but he literally like was like from here all the way back there. He was huge, wasn't he, sis? Yeah. You see him too? Yeah. Huge. He was so, like he was like a daddy or a teenager. He was huge. So again, while I'm trying to trap these coons and get them off this place, um, so I told you about a kid that uh, got sick, okay? He got um, I'll put a, a screenshot of it up right here so you can kind of read a little bit about it. So you see, um, Bay, whatever you want to call it. Anyhow, um, he, um, he got it from a coon, okay? Um, really, really, really sick. Family uh, had to take him to Houston Hospital. And um, as you know, it's probably a hard time for them. So what I'm going to do, what I'm going to ask you all to do, um, let's say five or ten bucks, okay? If you guys, everyone watching this could spare five or ten bucks, okay? That's, uh, you know, maybe ordering waters at dinner tonight instead of, instead of pop, okay? It's, it's not that big of a sacrifice. Um, if everybody could donate five or ten bucks, okay, say ten bucks. Um, everything that comes in, I'll put a PayPal link in the bottom or check, whatever. Um, I'm going to take and I'm going to donate to the family. And I'm also going to put up some money of my own. So, um, it's kind of a, I don't have a GoFundMe or anything set up. Uh, this is kind of a spur of the moment. Last night I was laying in bed. I was doing a little bit more reading about the deal and saw some videos of a little boy and all that and come to find out um, I'm actually friends with uh, it's Facebook world right you got mutual friends you see somebody um, uh, you know you add them on Facebook and you just kind of see some stuff from them but not very often well anyways through looking at at um, so what sparked my attention last night I seen a bass tournament that they are doing as a fundraiser okay uh, for this little boy and for the family and medical bills all that stuff so it sparked my interest and i thought you know i have a a platform it's not a big platform but i have a platform to help people in need so um i was up a little bit last night thinking about it and i got to looking at um some videos and stuff and oh that about hit me it really just got burdened for the little dude so this all just came about last night. Here I am this morning. Gonna try to make this video, get it edited, and get it up as soon as I can. So I'm gonna put my PayPal and Venmo in the bottom, or a PO box if you'd like to mail a check. 100% um, of everything sent in will be taken to Mr. Barnes, okay? Um, which is the father. And I talk about Small World Facebook. Um, he's actually, remember I told you about Mace County Processing down here, um, where we got those delicious steaks, okay? His dad actually, um, runs that. So, um, that's where I 
saw him, but I didn't put two and two together. I heard him talking about his how his boy was sick and he's having to do a lot of traveling back and forth to Texas, but I didn't put it together that this was actually him until last night. So um, I'm asking everybody just ten dollars. Everybody can spare ten dollars. It's not gonna make or break anyone, most likely. Um, so if you can, the links are in the description below. Like I said, 100% of this will be going to Mr. Barnes. I'm not keeping a dime of this. This is all going to go directly to him, and I will make a video um, giving it to him just so you guys can see that, you know, it is what it is. I'm not doing this for any views or anything other than to help this family out. So. Yeah, stop this video right now. Go to a link in the description below, PayPal, Venmo, and donate. $10 or whatever you feel led to do. <laughs> Run, buddy! <laughs> so he went to the neighbors. The neighbors, he hangs, um, he hangs buckets right on the fence after he's done with them from anywhere. So... Wait, 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 wait. Ellie! Where do you need to take those to? Huh? All right. So we just got in from Tall Owasso, I guess. Watching the new spot plant. Yeah, so we're going to, um, we're gonna reset this trap. I'm gonna move, pull that one trash can. Um, kind of off down here in this little spot and put the cage inside of it and set it because um, I don't want to get woke up again in the middle of the night with that cage banging against the house from the coon in there bouncing all over the place um, so we're going to do that and then need to fill up the chicken water and feed the goats and uh, I think that's about it the sun's going down so we're going to set this trap over here and uh See if we can catch some. Here you go. So we're gonna we're gonna use all these old hostas, all these old plants and stuff up here, and we're going to. Uh, you'll see. Come grab these, bro. Yep, set them on the other side. What do you think? There's one more. That's the day of... Everything. What do you think? He had that thing all bent up. So he had that thing all bent up. So what we're, we're gonna do now, got our bait. That's like uh, the bait that we catch the fish with. Well, this worked last time. Alrighty, well we're gonna, we got this trap, we're gonna go wash our hands and sanitize them and all that stuff since we've been messing with this trap where that coon was at. Don't wanna take any chances. Um, then we're gonna come back out and feed. Don't want to transport anything. So we're gonna go sanitize everything and we'll be right back. So we're in the house, just kind of washing our hands, all that stuff. Before we head out, 
Huddy's gonna try something. What is Oh, you want that? You want some? I got you some. Look. We're, we're gonna see just a little, this? little bit. You want this? Uh huh, Jerry. Oh gosh. Open up. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> you like it? <laughs> you like that? There's a blue mouth. Where'd it go? You look like Hunter did. Can you get me a napkin, Bob? You want another piece? Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh wow. Look at all drilling down his chin. You need a bite? Right? <laughs> oh, oh no! He doesn't like it. No, he does. It's just. He just spit it all, and like very slobbery. Yeah, like it was in there, then it disintegrated and became juicy. He's like, whoa! <laughs> all right. We think. We're gonna, me and Hunter's gonna head outside, feed the animals. Hallie's upstairs with a friend. So we'll give her a pass today. We gotta collect some eggs, water the chickens, put some more goat feed out. Hopefully this time we don't put chicken feed in the goat feed bins, so let's go then. Once again, I would encourage you guys to donate um, to the fun. Um, I'm just going to call it the Barnes Fun, okay? Um, you guys have been around my channel for a while. You know um, I'm not doing this to gain anything or to rip anybody off and take a bunch of money um, that I'm legitimately doing what I say I'm gonna do with all the funds. Um, so with that being said, everyone, ah, uh, don't need a bucket, everyone, $10, okay? $10 is not gonna break, it's not gonna break your bank. So like I said, PayPal in the description below. I don't need those, buddy. I got this. Well, um, we'll haul the water with the buggy. Leave the buggy empty. Um, PayPal, description below. Venmo in the description below. Or if you don't have that, you can write a check and make it out. make it out to myself and I will cash them all and then write one lump check to the parents and like I said I'll document everything that comes in all that stuff so um, there'll be no discrepancies in it come here bud what up man you're getting big MJ hey yeah. we just watched a video about you today MJ <laughs> All right, here you go. There you go, Mr. Egg Patrol. You feel that when they when they gobble like there? You feel the like the percussion coming? What Ready? Yo, no, no, yeah, yeah. About to collect your eggs. I just see like one. Man, the ladies are really leaving us hanging today one egg that won't even feed me that won't even feed hunter but it's better than nothing i guess come on broseph <laughs> Look! <laughs> 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 
Oh, no. oh wait, stop, stop, stop. Is it gonna hop up there with you? Hopefully it doesn't spill on me. <laughs> what if it does? I'd be so mad. You're good. What if it falls on it me? It won't. You're good. <laughs> fingers. <laughs> What's that? I'm just going to drive like What'd this. What'd you do? I'm just going to oh, drive Oh, you got your fingers crossed? I'm just going to drive like this. Sweet. Are you backing up? Yeah, I'm going to turn your turn. It's easier to, to turn while you're moving. So start moving and turn it. <laughs> there you go. Go forward now. Hey, remember, go forward, then turn. Step out the door. I got a couple coming. Got one more coming, anyways. Chicken. Oh. Yeah, chicken, chicken. Time to go in, ladies. Time to go in. And I threw it and it hanging on the fence there. What? Bullseye. All right, guys, we're going to head out for the day. We're losing darkness. This is going to be a short video. Pretty confident. I just mainly wanted to get this video out to ask you guys um, to please donate um, to the Barnes Fund. So, uh, yeah, click one of those links, whatever one works better for you. Um, I will uh, do another video. Whoa. <laughs> Letting you guys know the total. Um, I know that if it was Hunter, Hudson, or Hallie that um, this happened to, I would hope someone with um, a platform would do something like this for us uh, if we needed it, uh, going back and forth to Texas trips, hospital bills, all that stuff, just the stress, the, the other stress that you have um, as a family. Um, and uh, just adds to it, so. I don't think this is. <laughs> Whoa, you're gonna fall. So if you guys would pick one of those ways, ten bucks. Everyone gives ten bucks. It'll lighten the burden on the family. Um, so please do so. I've never really done this before. Actually, I've never done this before. But like I said last night, for whatever reason, um, God just put it on my heart to do this. So um, here I am. Right. All right, let's close out this video. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys liked this video, please smash that like button. If you guys have not subscribed to our channel at Morgan Homestead, please like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. And if you're at the end of this video and you have not donated, please find one of the links. Donate below. And if it's PayPal, please use friends and family only. That way it does not um, tax or take a certain percentage away of your donation. And um, thank you, guys. As always, God bless. Got anything? No.